All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and start this intro because I have a feeling that I'm just going to feel like a third wheel after the end of this episode because y'all... Just butt out. <laughs> Ryan yeah, Bailey. Yeah. Yeah. So Already bad it's good with Ryan Bailey's on the show. And he's wearing a backwards hat. Poodle, He even when Ryan yeah. signed in, he changed his last name to Ryan Anthony because as you know, Poodle wants to bang him. I don't know what's going to happen, y'all, but I'm going to tell you now, I've take your children him. out of the room. I'm going to tell you, my therapist, You, uh, by the way, hello, Reality Gaze Nation. Hello, my Ryan. Thera- Thank you for being here. Hello, Ryan Bailey. Thank Host of So Bad It's Good with Ryan Bailey. <laughs> my therapist, every time, I'm like, he mentioned me again today. Like, I get excited. <laughs> I get messages, and then it's so good for my ego. Like, it's so good because I'm like, somebody, and my therapist is like, why are you telling me when you think people, like, want to potentially have sex with you? I'm like, I just think it's, like, pretty cool, right? And she's like, nah, you know. But well. I'm very... I want more of it. In fact, like, I don't know. I don't think ever anybody's ever asked to be harassed, but I feel like I am. Like, but I you love want, it. You want be Jake careful to careful what me you t- wish you, for, Ryan. You want Jake to me to you. That's what you're saying. <laughs> well, good yeah. scene, everybody. Uh, talk to you later. Five stars on we'll, Apple Podcasts and we'll, Spotify would be great. We'll yeah. see how long that lasts. You, you, ain't, never, you ain't never seen sexting. <sighs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Hey, you're like, in you're the- like <laughs> it's 630 in the AM. Is this a picture of your asshole? <laughs> now, okay, Ryan, for people Wait, that don't. Way, it just says Salt Lake finale trailer, and it's just your asshole. <laughs> just your asshole. I'm like, wait, I, I think I've got the wrong video here. I guess. Just winking. Just wink. Now, t- for people that don't uh, listen to your show, I don't know why they're not, but what? which show? <laughs> you're a big Bravo guy. He's Tell us Bravo about Bravo everything. Yeah, we are covering yeah, like everything Bravo. Bravo. Like I do, I do these long form podcasts where it's guest interviews with like Bravo liberties. Um, but well, I, I do full recaps. I mean, line for line recaps of Salt Lake City. We just came off Beverly Hills, which was like my personal Vietnam. Oh yeah. Uh, we're really, <laughs> I just spoke with, I just spoke with Crystal Minkoff yesterday and it was a great, oh. uh, chat because it was just You're so blowing brutal. up. You're getting all these um, desperate housewives. We can't get I, TLC stars to us. Well, do you want, I mean, could no, you imagine, we don't. No, like, we don't. I, by the way, you guys listening at home, I ashamedly, I watched 90 day UK and I actually fell in love with it, but oh, I didn't so do 90 day, a single life until I knew I was coming on with you guys. And I watched the final episode today and you guys well, should have warned me. Colty's the flipping Unabomber now all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, and her, Debbie put on makeup. Like I, I watched oh, 90 Day Happily Ever After, but that was all you guys. So those are my shows that I just watch for enjoyment where I don't have to take notes on. But yeah. all the Bravo stuff or even like Netflix a little bit. I'm trying to get more into documentaries. So I do a different show every day like you guys. But it kind of is just because I need that mentally to get it out. Like these are exercising yeah. my demons. No, I hear you. That that's, that's what our show helps. Otherwise, that's much, Jake, and I want to hurt somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We will definitely talk about how Debbie kind of looks like Marla Hooch from A League of Their Own in drag <laughs> when she got a makeover. Uh, so, and how you know, sad is it? Like maybe in drag. 30, 30 minutes in at the dinner with Colty, I go. Well, I mean, she kind of doesn't look that bad. Like I no, started like I actually, at first I was like just shocked, and then I was like, well, like I, it's so sad how my like my actual standards lesson as the show continued <laughs> well you know, she was like, well, that she that's what happens of, with tlc in general yeah uh, and she is the heart of single life episode two season two we have to say now before people jump in we're going to kind of ju- just write in talking about as i call them salt is, wives and we're continuing this is part was, two. Oh yeah yeah, yeah. Go, go listen to part one on my show you guys Go listen to part one. This is part two. On part one, y'all, we talked about the most recent season of Love is Blind. You know how we've been feeling about that. Yes, we talked um, about that. And we talked we about, about Salt Lake City. We talked about Salt Lake City. And so, um, and this is the most recent episode about the choir. What? I don't, can't remember the name of it. But um, uh, the, it just, the where, it's, it's the it's Heather's choir. choir episode. The, uh, I don't know if you know, Ryan Bailey, but one time I was talking because I don't watch any of the housewife shows except for I really got into Salt Lake and I fucking love this show. I watch I when it comes out. I'm like, it's the only Apple housewife TV show tells we, me, we talk well, about. I love it because the, but the, the, I the keep foundation of religion is so amazing. That's, that's exactly what I love. The foundation of religion is so great. 
It's so great. Yeah. It's so great. And so I'm watching it's the it, only one I watched. Consistently I was talking well. about it on the show like six months ago. I don't know if you know this, but I was saying, oh, and you know, that show Salt Wives and I called it Salt Wives. <laughs> and then that spun Jake into a whole different reality show. Poodle, tell I, him what Salt no, Wives is No, it's not a reality about. show. It's a scripted show that I need to write a pilot for. Salt Wives opens on a picture of an older woman's hands uh, through water, through salt water. <laughs> and it is about fishermen's wives in New England, uh, and the fishermen. Oh my God! Time... Discovery, Discovery Plus just picked this up. They're no, literally no, no. Like, <laughs> sounds fascinating. H- this is scripted. This is HBO. This is this is this oh, is sorry, top tier. Sorry. Ellen Burstyn stars. is is the main salt wife. <laughs> Well, Ellen, Patricia Ellen, Arquette, Ellen Burstyn, Patricia, Patricia Arquette. Arquette. That's amazing. Wow. Uh, she's Ellen, Ellen Burstyn sits on a lighthouse every morning and <laughs> uh, and waits for her 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 husband Ephraim to come back. This here, here's the, here's the ticker. A, 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 hus- a fisherman dies every single time and he doesn't come back. So there's a new salt wife and it kind of just every time, sometimes they're older, sometimes they're younger, but it's Didn't all you say- women. We so it's never like an see anthology them series. You, Do we jump yes. in time here? It's like yes, I think you said past. Alfie. Alfie Woodard is the new Salt Woodard Wife. Would come in, oh, uh, yeah. and That'll be we huge would for her. That'll be good. we would bring we would bring her in. Um, occasionally, it would be the younger new act, like Zoe Kazan would come in as the very you know what'd be fresh great? You faced. Would do- if there's a guy like Angela Bassett and Lawrence Fishburne, because they did what what yes. love got to do with it, that's yes. true. reignite these like pairings of like, but now they're that's all these great. years later. Yes. That would be a really great way to cast that show as yeah. well as just as a nostalgia. Do you ever think about that on 90 Day Fiance of like 20 years from now, we're going to have to have a show on TLC where they make Colty do like a... Oh, I remember that scene from 20 years ago. Yes. It was before my 30th kid, you know? Yeah. I I think possibly. Uh, but if no, you don't think Darcy and Stacey's, if you don't think one of Darcy's girls is going to be on 90 Day Fiance before the 90 <sighs> Days, you got another thing coming. Yeah. It still uh, seems so kind of normal, and you know that switch is about to happen where they, they I know. just. They're going to they're gonna start yep. being influencers. I know. Yeah. Anyway, we, uh, we so were anyway salt wives. Yes, so we, yeah. so we were talking about uh, the latest episode when I gotta say the line that I about died was when Lisa Barlow said, "I am very important to God." <laughs> yes, 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 you know I'm very important to God, and <laughs> I've decided this is the first season where I've I've always thought Lisa Barlow was kind of horrible. This is the first season Dude. that I'm actually I'm like I'm starting to like you because you're so nuts and weirdly they're trying to turn everyone's turning against Lisa Barlow in including the including Sarah Paulson lookalike. I was going <laughs> to say she looks great. Like, <laughs> shockingly she looks like Sarah Paulson. Like like yeah. if you told me that this I mean like eventually I would have been like well that was pretty funny. She did great at fooling us the whole season. Yeah. But also the Lisa Barlow you're so dead on right. I was not a team Barlow person. Me either. Until this season. Yeah. And me too. now all of a sudden I'm in lo- like last night in, on what you said she tweeted I love God and she did the heart <laughs> emoji. And she did hashtag Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And then I was just like, do you think God has paid the $8 verified premium to get this tweet up in heaven? <laughs> like, do you think God has seen this tweet? Or if, if God's like, you know what? I'm staying away from Twitter after Elon got it. Like, like the fact that you would <laughs> he is. check he I is. emoji heart God is so awesome. And then her son goes, fudge college, mom. Like, that was one of my favorite. Like, fudge like, college. I, would, I love fudge college. Fudge college. Fudge I like college. that they think that plot line is that that kid thinks it's he's not going to go to college. Um, <laughs> I can't I think, come on. You're going to college. You're yeah. going to college. I, I, I think the other thing about, about this whole Angie Harrington thing, because she's not – she's too cuckoo to be full cast. But I think this is a kind of situation where they're going to bring her around like Stefano Demira on Days of Our Lives ah, when things anyway, get a little this is, slow. This is why I really should be gay. Like I know exactly that. You reference. know Days of I, Our Lives. I, I want those you were know my Days stories, of Our Lives. You guys. Oh yes, my gosh! My I grew up on a street full of, of girls in Kansas, and that's what we watched. Every was like we would watch Days of Our Lives every day. So I knew all that shit. Like it is Ryan, Ryan Murphy. You at least you, li- you at least need a Ryan, Ryan Bailey, Bailey. You at least need a pinky in your butt. Come on, Ryan Bailey. <laughs> 
I could take yeah. you and make such an ex- I could take you and make you the toast of West Hollywood gays. I it'd be like fag alien. Uh, by the way, you could be my David Geffen. You could literally be. I like, this know. Is, I, I'm the ugly version of a David Geffen boyfriend, and you could be the guy that really raises me in the ranks. Um, so wow. Mom, if you're, listen- I'm more Mom, if you're pro- listening, what's up? I'm more of a procurer. <laughs> So to find, I'd, I'd sell you I'm to a the cu- highest curator, a curator. A curator. Yes. Uh-huh. I want to ask you, Ryan Bailey, because, you know, I've always, clearly we love Heather Gay. We really love Heather Gay. She supports the gay so much, literally. Yeah. Like, so, but with Through this name, Heather yeah. and Whitney rift, I'm, I go back and forth. Each, there's one episode where I'm like, Whitney, I'm done with you. You're a drama queen. You're always starting shit. I don't know who to believe. And, but with Heather, it does seem like, what's going on with Heather Gay? Okay, so this is honestly like the, I was really team Heather, and I have a little bit like of a personal cloud here because she unfollowed me on Instagram, and we did an amazing <laughs> interview where we talked to no, we talked about our divorces, we like bonded, and then she in the interview said like this was before the Jen Shaw stuff really blew up, but she said she was going to stand behind Jen Shaw even if she was guilty, and I said wow that's really and it got picked up by a lot of like news things, and then I kept making Jen Shaw memes. And Lisa Rinna memes, and she's a fan of Lisa Rinna, and I'm not. So she unfollowed me, and I was like, what? And then I will say, Heather is one of the funnier people on the show, but I think she has third season. Usually you see this in the second season, but she has this third season elevated ego about herself. I agree with you. I feel like she's playing yeah. too much of the housewives game. That's what I'm saying. I agree. The fans have been – and by the way, I'm not saying she's bad. I'm not saying she's not lovable. No, no, no. It's not funny. But, but it, it's, it's lovable like, people make mistakes. And and also, if you compare, if you go into a battle of words between Whitney and Heather, Heather will always win because Whitney is, I speak in stutter. She's like, she uncovered family trauma for the life of God. And then like, for the love of God. And Heather's like, sorry, I didn't know that your husband lost his job. And I'm like, that- even Lisa Barlow, who's only worried about Lisa Barlow knew. That I will say that. That made her seem completely out of touch, and yeah. it made her seem like she was just in it for herself uh, this season. And it's the first we've seen of Heather like that. I think she showed some flashes of like that last season, but she's always seemed like the the girl who's last to be picked, and she catches up late for everything. And we admired that, and I don't, I don't see that this season. It's interesting. But now you, you see that so much good attention has come her way. But it was so funny because at the beginning of the season, she was like, yeah, I'll try to be Lisa Barlow's friend because we always still are those high school personas that want to be loved by the cool kid. And now yeah. even Heather's trying to turn against Lisa of like, wait, I have this strength. So it's kind of like wearing two left shoes for her where she's just clunky with it. And it's like <laughs> not good. And also, how effing big is that other location of Beauty Lab and Laser? They showed what looked like it's the fucking Huge. Mormon tabernacle. I'm like, how, how many floors how can is you Beauty afford Lab and that? Laser? Like it, that's you know, huge. Guys, this is, and I'm not, I just, just let's make a point or a bookmark on that thought because this is exactly what I thought years ago when I was like, I know, Tom, I know lawyers do good, but Tom Girardi couldn't do that good. I remember <laughs> thinking that thought yeah. and I'm like, how is this? I mean, I'm hoping it's just one store in a huge building, which I think it obviously <laughs> is, but just bookmark these thoughts that you have but when you were like, that's it's, weird. It's She's bigger a- than the American Girl store at the Grove, and that's massive. <laughs> and that, by the way, that by the way is eerily big. Like it is eerily, it's, it's yeah, scary big. big. And they've got yeah. a cafe. Yes, it's too <laughs> much. By the way, and by the way, also people that work at American Girl store, why don't look down on me? I'm sorry, I don't have a daughter, but I can still get coffee there. It's not even a big deal. <laughs> sorry, I don't have a daughter. Well, yeah, I'm I got, I got, just, I got, I just doing a I, podcast in the middle yeah. of the American Girl. Oh, we live store in, in Rick Michael Caruso's Robe. Los Angeles now. I guess I can't <laughs> I go guess to the American. Oh, yeah. You're just sitting over there feeling the material, the children's clothes. <laughs> they're just asking, like kid, asking kid, would you like this? Would this is this like something you would wear? Like they're just looking through the sex offender catalogs. They're just looking <laughs> for the Oh, face. I mean by the God, by the God. Like there wouldn't even be if any <sighs> murder happens around me, they'll literally go to the podcast and they'll be like, We got him. Like they won't we even listen him. to it. They'll yeah. just see the photo and what I do on the show. I when I am when I am in like any type of children's store, uh, because I'm male, I'm always very obviously gay. Because I, I'm just saying, oh my god, what am I going to get for my nephew? Because uh, I, I, yeah, I don't think you need to be obvious, honey. 
What do my, you mean? Yeah, my, yeah. I'm wearing like I can't even think straight T-shirt, or because I just never. I'm always worried that like someone's gonna say, "Why is that person shopping for a child? Did they steal one?" I know, know? I, I I know. I was in because I, I, I do another podcast called "What the Kids Are Watching," where my host has a cute cute daughter. I, I'm like the color commentary where I watch these shows, and I'm like, "What the f are these?" But I went into a toy, like I went into Walmart's toy section because I watched this episode of Bluey, which I thought was really heartwarming. And I'm sitting there. That's a good show. I toys. watched it. With my nephew. Yeah. It's great, but I I show. have no kids with me, and I'm seeing a mom <laughs> and daughter, and this yeah. guy's just like touching the kids' toys. That's not good. It's Ryan. it's a it's a iffy feeling um not, I'm uncomfortable. and my whole uh, life is an yeah. icky feeling like there's no <laughs> everything i when i when i hit like i'm up till two in the morning with podcasts every night it's an icky feeling it's an mm. icky feeling i agree yeah. so, the last thing we basically saw in the episode uh that that heather and and lisa are still lisa, lisa. Are, are still feuding but there's this i just need to point out in the choir scene that there were like a couple of church altos who hadn't sung in a while, but the others were just twinks who who loved Jen Shaw, and they yeah, just yeah. wanted, and uh, and so they just showed up just to see Jen Shaw and, with a with a megaphone, and y'all, yes. these were which I and, love, I love Jen Shaw with a megaphone, y'all, I do. And, and she had the mic, the mic two seasons ago, and now she's upgraded. To I a love megaphone. it. I love Jen with the mic. I love. You know, yeah. you know that Angie Harrington doesn't play with rules in the real world no. <laughs> because she just no, says things like, insane. "Sorry, that's my husband's Instagram account. I don't know anything about it." And she tries to fake she's cry. She tries to fake cry. Dance outfit while she yes. says it. She's it, up for a duo in a Whitney. fucking top hat as well. It is. I, I'm just like, yeah. where are we? And it, I'm it, like, and I need to stay here forever. <laughs> it is. It is. I didn't know that we could get more absurd of Heather and Whitney yelling at each other in lingerie, but we have. <laughs> so that was that was great of Heather going. You've lost me forever. Lost me. And, and, she's and like, and when she called her, you said you're drunk, and you see Whitney, who literally her tits are about to explode <laughs> out of her bra, and she just goes. What are you saying? <laughs> that, and then the next morning, this is a couple episodes ago, you guys. You guys know she, Heather wakes she up, up and she ripped up the bed. I go, I did shit like that in high school to my friends. I go, oh the my best. god, we're. St- I will say Whitney when, does seem like you feel for her because her trauma, but she also seems so she unhinged. She this seems season. unhinged. This okay, episode, okay, but, yeah, but think about okay, this is. This is what my theory, not theory, but this is when you are finally coming into your own, it's like, it's like Heather with the two left foots in front of like standing up for herself. She's like, <laughs> everything is the word triggered. She's using all therapy words. She's using yeah. the buzzword. Yeah. With all like, I am learning to stand up for myself. I'm I going to do it, it every day. It. And she, so, he, and also what is that hysterical last week when, Justin, like, who, I like her husband a lot, but he's like, yeah, help dude. me write this Instagram post. And he's like tearing up. <laughs> tearing writing tearing this. Up. He goes, if you're here on Instagram, you're one of the good ones. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh my I, God. They're not the good I, ones, honey. I, I, this was my fault. I'm so sorry. I mean, it was a stupid <laughs> reason for her to get fired, but whatever. Wait, no, um, it's not, it's not, okay. It was fam- that he marketed for, fa- it wasn't like family products. So of course yes. I even knew when I saw that scene last, like, Hey, it's that like, can't get look good for his job with like, maybe cream I shouldn't shanky. have put pole dancing on that season. Yeah. It, it is kind of weird that they were surprised someone found out. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he should be fired for it, but yeah, it was pretty. Well, no, but the thing is, is- there's morals clauses in all that shit, especially it's, it's yeah. like, this especially fucking Utah. We're in Utah. Like the yeah. best thing about these shows though. And that's why I never want it to end. Like the best things are when you, you really feel like they forget that these things were filmed. Like that there were cameras <laughs> yeah. there. You're like, they'll yeah. be, cause they'll, they'll flat out lie on certain shows. And then they're like, well, there's cameras. Why would you lie? And then you're like, wow, there's a real weird thing that happens in the brain. Once you get used to cameras being around, I guess. Yeah. Or you yeah, just you have do a forget. Really they say you memory. forget. Jake usually by like one thirty in the morning he forgets the cameras are around. I forget the camera Ryan, so from picklefinder.net is on and you can catch me at my most vulnerable. Wait, yeah, what, is it, what is it? What is it? What are you? What are you? Uh, uh, piano cat? Piano? No, that's key? that's my that's my name on on a very very reputable website that is called <laughs> picklefinder.net. Uh, piano cat seventy seven. Yeah, seventy seven. That's it. Sorry, piano yeah, cat seventy seven. Um, let's jump into because you let's. 
Let's talk about Single Life, shall we? Let's talk shall- about TLC, The Single Life. Okay, so you caught up and saw... I had okay, no idea. Jake, like I just had no Jake idea. Jake and I haven't happened. even talked about this, but do you think Natalie is going to want to get back together with Mike? Well, Mike did give money to her mom, so in the rules of prostitution, she kind of <laughs> has to do that at this point. I think that's like a legal thing. So, Mike was kind to my mother. Yeah, Mike, good. And Josh did not like it, but I gave money and, you know, like, and it's like, and, and Mike's scream. mom, like, Mike's mom's like, like, oh, she's just going to do her big old eat shit routine. Like, well, I said something wild oh. and I was like, oh. I, but when you don't watch a show for a season, you guys, and you watch the last episode, you're like, I've missed so much. Yeah. And what the you hell is lot. happening? Like you, I, you, the whole like season has sh- been pretty nuts. Um, with, uh, Tania dating a woman, we brought up the, the idea that, um, I don't, you, you haven't watched the scene, Caesar, who was from Maria and Caesar, oh. Caesar has found basically a mail order bride. <laughs> in, and, and by the way, dates. also, we, okay. This is what I love even about the other, the Sunday 90 day too. uh, the other, it's uh, what is it? Hey, the happily other, ever the, after. That, happily ever after. Uh, okay. Happily ever. We're dealing now with war torn countries <laughs> and Caesar's yeah. like. Why hasn't she sent me pictures? You know, I'm like, <laughs> um, dude, like you're in a like, like, can we slow it down? Like, there's actually a uh, war happening, uh, and I he sent doesn't. Her two texts this morning. She didn't respond. To it. <laughs> like Caesar, just be happy. There's like actually like that's potentially a real person this time. You know, this is the love of my life that you, you met through me? a matchmaker. It makes me sad though, because it's like these people you, you don't even miss- look rich, and they're like just they, they seem to be cleaning up in terms of horrible relationships. Oh, Ryan Bailey, you've got. I know you don't have a lot of time because you watch too much shit like we do. If you do like have time, you've got to watch this. But I'll tell you which episode it is. But it's the episode where Caesar first goes on the dates with like five other American guys, and it's just male just or like- bride. Creepiness, and it's just like sex tourists. <laughs> it's just it's fucking just these sex Americans. Tourists. One guy is like, "Hello, I am uh, I am from Russia, and I am game developer. <laughs> game developer, yes, game I am developer. Absolutely not Russian <laughs> oligarch. There, and there's like, um, there's how big totally is your like, gaping hole? How big is exactly, your gaping exactly. hole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a guy who totally I'm is not just like a cripple. There's like a crypto, a crypto guy who works in crypto. Guy. I mean, it's going to be a crypto. There's a whole oh, It's so fucking and skeezy. One guy goes, and then one, one guy actually says, I'm a golf pro. No, I'm you're a golf not. No, you're not. And they're all normal clothes. <laughs> it was Caesar, actually Tiger Woods, you guys. Yeah, Tiger Woods. Yeah, just it was Tiger Woods. What's creepy enough. And Caesar, they're all in normal clothes. And Caesar wears a fucking a tuxedo with tails and a top hat. <laughs> That's that's Mr. Monopoly, first off, and that's yes. classy. And I love see Caesar is he's got a heart in there. It's just he does. a very, very slow, slow heart. Slow. That, you know, it's like a very dumb, slow heart in person. Well, it's a and very, just, very slow heart. That whole universe, but by the way, it's like I will go back and watch these shows because these are the shows I watch for my sadly my enjoyment because I don't talk about them oh, on it's my show. Wonderful. That's how like, I feel I like rarely, salt wise salt wise like, for us. Is salt wise. But like it's it's like truly enjoyable, but also just like you think the cringe level of a show like The Office of Michael Scott, it's like no. If you want cringe level, go to TLC. Mm. Like oh, even mm. even be- like Bravo has doesn't hold a candle to the cringe. So much he's like that. Even like that happily ever after. You guys, I am so done with Angela. I'm so done uh, with Big Ed. I don't flip yeah. and need. Like I'm so. These are caricatures now where I'm like I rather like 90 Day UK like. I was like, this is charming. Like, this is filmed. Oh, like, they were I, wonderful. I got, so I got good. So, I was like, this is what I used to love. But then uh, these characters, like, who's the one I'm thinking about? That, How much uh, do you love Katie oh, and Usman, Alejandro? Usman. Usman. Like, oh, I, oh, Usman. Usman and- <laughs> I, 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 Kim. I called him Great Value Usher. Um, well, she, I mean, baby girl. How am I rooting for baby girl Lisa all of a sudden? I'm like, they need to get back together. Like, she's like, I know how you become the first wife, Ryan. You take that, <laughs> you take that Nigerian dick, and you raw dog it, you raw dog it the American way, and that's how you become a first wife. <laughs> I love that she. I love that her. She's trying to hold herself to standards. <laughs> she keeps going. Well, it's very important for me to be the first wife. That very, I'm like, oh, you idiot! Like you give him. 
it, oh, it's so did, upsetting on a Sunday night. <laughs> she has in the rings that she gave him for the engagement ring. Poodle said, I didn't know this, but in the in the inscription in the ring is hashtag I won. Hashtag I won. Hashtag I won. <laughs> hashtag I won. I won. Please. <laughs> and you know she misspelled one. It's probably O-N-E. <laughs> <or something. laughs> the best, the best thing. My favorite thing, Ryan, is to watch for this is to watch her <laughs> agonize because Usman has said things like, I hate it when you yell at me and just scream at me. And she'll say, no, hold my no. hand, please. <laughs> so she <laughs> says, please. She after him, but then now, like a child. Dude, you and mean? sometimes he reminds her to say, please. You know, like, and like as I'm always trying to watch my figure now, but like they flip in and have ruined yams for me for the rest of my like a <laughs> yeah, double yammy. yammy. I'm like, I don't even want a third of a yammy if you like. I and mean, it's like, and then he always like, do you notice how he always falls asleep before the yammy happens? Yeah, he gets yeah, like, oh, we, we were so tired last night. You know, he's that's writing those songs. So many. Yeah, he's, he's writing. He's I'm telling you, though, those songs are bops. I enjoy. But that, no, no some... the first song from Baby Girl Lisa Day, like, like was a really. I know he, oh, yeah. he has a new one that's pretty good too actually zara much, is good um much, much I, I play them at our than, live shows ryan yeah <laughs> much, they need much, to do wait they need to do a um uh we are the world with 90 day fiance <laughs> <members. laughs> could you imagine getting all of them together like we are get, the world Tariq, um Tariq from Tariq yes. and hazel yes. do hot sauce and and, um, and 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 libby libby could do that because libby can Dion. sing because you have you missed uh, that Libby's pregnant now, and they went back into their terrible storyline uh, of his of her family. But the way this season started is that Libby wanted to work reignite her singing career of sing singing children's rhymes. songs. I know I saw that I saw but that. She's and, actually uh, a good singer. No, no. Yeah. And by the way, that her vocal coach and just because I oh grew up a, a theater actor and I t- took vocal lessons. No, I, was like, <laughs> I, I love <laughs> you guys. Shocking news here. I, Shocker. Um, but I was remember I was like that vocal coach. I thought could have given a little more encouragement. Oh, in that she was because I was like, awful. I was like, she's she was better than that vocal coach was. The giving vocal her coach credit was terrible. For. I expected Jake, Jake, shit. No, Jake I was horrible on a ten minute about rant. the vocal coach. She was the, oh. the thing about the thing about what you should take lessons from Jake Ryan Bailey. We oh, I'm, sure I'll, be, I'm sure I'll be taking certain kind of lessons. Yeah. From Jake. yeah, yeah, we'll have to work a lot of your breath. Clothing's optional. Um, Jesus. Oh, so yeah. oh, so you're actually accredited vocal coach. Okay, because yes, that's how my own vocal coach was. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Tell me if this hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. oh, oh, dear. Female. Dear. Am I supposed Ooh. to be crying when I hit these high notes? Yeah. <laughs> It'll all make you better. <laughs> Please don't give up on me, sir. Please don't give up on me. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you want this? <laughs> I want okay. it more than any. I, I feel like this is my only. It's my last shot. This I'm is the reality. Game I'm in theater. my forties. No I'm in wanted. my forties. We're in a weird area. No one um, wanted this theater. Oh my god! I, wait, what if this tanks your show so badly? Oh, trust me, <laughs> Ryan. We have said much worse than this. Yeah, that yeah. is true. Actually, I do, and uh, I've actually listened to episodes where you've said I, much worse. Said I much have. Worse. Uh, yeah, the the things that I have advocated for. <laughs> If I'm I'm saying now, if if we if 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 our listeners are still listening after we've said horrible horrible things, they're never going to stop. <laughs> well, now, sorry. Well, no, I was going to say, what did you think about what do you think about Bilal and Shida? Because they're still on this season too. I okay, so this <sighs> is a like like it's hard because like. This is another relationship that shouldn't exist. Like this is not, <laughs> yeah, like you know, true. but you, you, that's nothing. Like, like you could say that about every one of these relationships, but it just seems like isn't relationships at a certain point supposed to be somewhat fun? Like there's <laughs> yes. you know, like like somewhat yes. like and just like dude, Shida, you we already know like he's he doesn't want kids with you. The the ex is and he wants to assert authority of a, a, over another, not even just human being, a woman, and it almost yeah. like makes me feel bad, like. It's a bad representation of, I think, their religion in a certain way yeah. too. Yeah. And I and he thinks of himself as just this king almost. Oh. And, oh. and 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 just but he's a like jokester, Ryan. He's a jokester. He, 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 he loves like, pranks. I love, I love that he didn't realize the reception he would get from the audience. Like he was surprised. Oh, and I was that's like, the best part of it all. You even like the 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 way she got on the season when he fooled her about the houses. It's like that's <laughs> disgusting, dude. Disgusting. Like that's. Could you imagine? Like what? <sighs> no. What the thing? What we? What I keep waiting for is when they're on. When I'm sure they're on their third happily ever after season, and she gets to 
and they go to the the an actual OBGYN and not a kind of like Botox doctor like this guy was. Um, they they say it's just like, uh oh, shot. I think it's too late. And Bilal goes, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, by wow. the way, Bilal's, Bilal's taking her to beauty lab and laser to get her ovaries checked out. You know, <laughs> wow, that was dark, poodle. But that, that's, that's, that he was likes dark. Chase a jokester, y'all. <laughs> He's a, no, like there's just like there's certain like overall the feeling of any ninety day show is darkness, but there's like levels. <laughs> it of is darkness. dark. It's a very dark. But then show. there's like there's fun dark, and then there's like just dark dark because there's no even. Like I, I just don't enjoy their scenes at all. Like I'm just like I, there's yeah. no enjoyment no, in it. No, the no one does. Even, <laughs> this, the, I mean, I do enjoy the other way in the before in some ways, but I have to say, I think the streaming ninety day, ninety day UK, ninety day Love in Paradise, and ninety day The Single Life are the best iterations are. of the show right now. Ninety they day are. UK, like I mean, I keep saying it, but it's like I ate that up. I looked forward to it, and there was a certain thing where it almost there was like romantic elements to it. And no, where I was, yeah, where I was rooting for people again like i was actually rooting and nervous about i mean like the one guy that like thinks that one kid is his son and like he's a janitor and like you know i'm just like because i was like i was emotionally invested in like this thing that we all want to strive for is just basic love you know like we just want love well and it reminds you that that there is this there is kind of like the the, it reminds me of just kind of like the great love that um, when Hussein answered his phone during her, him and Emma's wedding, yeah, um, awesome. in Turkey, <laughs> um, <laughs> and the, da- the could you imagine having a daughter and then bringing your daughter over there to witness this wedding? And he picks up, it, and he goes, "It's my mom. It's I've got uh, my mom. It's my mom." And then he he's not happy. You know, I'm like. Can we just cut like even the camera people at this point should be brought up on charges because like at a certain <laughs> point they're like, "Yo." Like, yo, let's just stop. This is too much and They're it's like, too hurtful. It's like your kid is watching this. You know that kid is scarred for that. Like that, she's never ever gonna be able to get married to somebody ever, like in no, her life. The daughter. No. Like this is too no, much. No. The, the, and, but, no, that that's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she, she is the she's one of the few that we had to so we had to <laughs> sub- get a subtitle. We couldn't understand her. Well, that was the one question I want because when you on your live shows, I see that you sometimes are getting these people over. Like you get like the love after lockup people or the but like we, how fun and like or is it did, did, that just potentially makes me really nervous because like do you get nervous when these you actually meet um, these people in real we're life? Very we're very choosy. We're very choosy. We're very choosy. We don't invite yeah. a okay. lot of people. Um, okay, because I'm like I I saw something and I was like. Oh my God! They're bringing out actual like cast members from these. Well, yeah. that was we were going to interview Deontay, and then Deontay at the last minute said, "Hey, I've got Indy and Yolanda coming." Lockup. We went, yeah. "What?" Because we love Yolanda, and that was a great interview. We've we've inter- Deontay's uh, had quite a journey. Oh, like, he had a journey. Really has he, they, he, that most of the time people are wonderful. Yeah. Okay. We're, again, we're choosy. Like it's ironic. Like we. We were able to, our very first interview was with fucking Darcy and Stacy. Like, you can't get any bigger than that. Like, yeah. period, full stop in 90 Day Universe. You can't get bigger. So we interviewed them, and then now nobody will, they'll let nobody come in our show. It's, so, it's mostly sharp entertainment. They, so, they just was, won't let us talk. This yeah. was years ago. Like, I mean, before pandemic, before all this stuff, Danny Pellegrino couldn't make it to a 90 Day function. Like, this is like five years ago before before, and so he goes, Hey, will you go and just get some like audio for me? And I was like, uh, I love 90 day fiance. And yeah. I don't cover it. And I, so I go there and, and it's like, this is 5 PM and Darcy is shit. Camp. Like, I mean, just like, I mean like she, and she has a handler from TLC. Oh, wait, I think, Lin, I think our friend Linda Antwi, who does melanated way was at that too. Not to get the melody. Oh, Jerry O'Connell was there. And I go, what are you doing here? He goes, I love the show, man. And like, <laughs> and he goes, it was like Laura Lapkus. I mean, there was like a start, like, and it was only nope. like eight. 90 Days got a fan base. Yeah. Celebrity fan base. So I interviewed Darcy and like the handler is like, has to be right there. Like, to, <laughs> and Danny goes, just ask her what her favorite Mariah Carey song is. And I'm, I'm, you know, going like, oh, I hope you guys have a, this is before the spinoff. I hope you have a spinoff. She's like, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing? And I'm like, oh my God, is Darcy like actually hitting on me? And then I ask her, what's your Back favorite off, Mariah Darcy. Carey song? <laughs> And she couldn't answer. She goes, I sing song. I sing song. <laughs> and 
and I and then the handler's like, no, Mariah Carey. She's like, I like to sing songs. Oh, and, like, and I couldn't even get her to answer the. And like, she's this was like the the sun had not set, and there's like yeah. press oh. everywhere, we've, and it was we've all been messy. we all I, we always say, and some people don't want to admit this. We've all been a Darcy or a Stacy, and that's why we love yeah, them. Yeah, we've all, we've we still all, love them so the, much. No, Our no, faith, but you guys haven't done any like this. The face thing, like Darcy follows me on Instagram and when they like put up, I can't tell if it's filter or they're actually doing these things to the we faces. Don't know. I know these we, I we mean, just don't even know what, we don't even think we know what the new work looks like. I'm getting there. The, I'm meeting the, with the, my plastic surgeon next week. No lie. Yeah. Anyway, it'll be amazing if you end up next week looking like Siegfried. I'm just You're going to look like, like the movie The Jigsaw from Mask. I am. I'm just going to go in. I'm getting a little Botox, and I want to talk to him about a net cliff. But then you know he'll say, what about your nose? What about your eyes? And I'll be like, just no, do it. Dude, I would be – if I had the money, I would be like, just – do like if you can assure me that it like just make me look better. Like just, I don't I'll, have the I'll money. I'm just you, putting you know? it on a credit card. <laughs> That was BravoCon for me. BravoCon, I was just like, yeah, man, Amex, let's do this. Like, let's I mean, there do was it. No, none of this money exists. Do you, do you take debit cards? <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> okay, you know, we, we, we do need to go when you okay, let you go. But I'm glad okay, you brought up BravoCon. I wanted to ask you, yeah. kind of final thought, what was your most surprising takeaway from BravoCon for you? Okay, so I was staying at the Gansvort where they all were staying. Mm -hmm. And so, like, that's why I got- It's a I nice hotel. Broke. Oh, the most amazing hotel I've ever stayed in, but it's so, I'm never, I'm like a days in kind of a guy. And like, <laughs> so I spent all of my money on this hotel because they were all staying there and it was so worth it because I got to go upstairs to all the parties each night after. So there was like another oh. BravoCon happening with just the Bravo celebrities every night. And the, so I got to watch Chef from Southern Charm like hit on every girl <laughs> that moved. I watched, I Jen Shaw snuck into the party she was not allowed at, and I watched her drop it like it's hot with Sheree Whitfield. Like, do you know Emily wow. D. Baker, the lawyer? She goes, she grabs me. She's in this party, and she goes, get get over here right now. Jen Shaw's dancing. And I'm like, Jen Shaw's here? <laughs> and she pulls me over, and all of a sudden, I'm watching Jen Shaw. I love Like, her. by the way, like, her knees. She's so fun. I mean, but also so flexible. Such a good dancer for somebody that is, like, defrauded to the elderly. But, like, seemed like not... <laughs> It seemed like not a care in the world. Like she was having more fun than good I was. Good for having. her. <laughs> yeah, good for, it's like, good for good her. For, will they let her have the megaphone in jail? Do you think? And and I um, doubt it. But you saw like you saw like Tamra and Teddy from OC trying to like get information from people, and it, it was just it felt like um it felt like we live in a simulation, and there's no way any of this is real. I bet like, it was just that. But it that is. Feeling but for them, a lot of them, it's their real life. Yeah. Oh, it. And you realize that real quickly that this is, they need this, they want this, and they needed BravoCon more than the fans did because uh. you could tell it lifted them so much. And it made me just think about you guys of like eventually 90 Day Con will be around the corner. Oh, I've thought about it. Be, it's going to be 80 times the, like BravoCon they actually turned out okay. This is going, 90 Day They won't Con invite us. We've actually thought, we've actually be thought about doing it. We've thought about throwing it and doing it. But the problem, if we did it, they it would probably too. wouldn't be supported. And they would, because you've got to bring 90 Day cast members. So, but yeah, if they do, we'd love to go. Well, no, but the, you would actually have to worry about all the 90 day people sleeping with fans. Like that's, I mean, like you already worried about that with Bravo a little yeah. bit. Sin, but Sinjin's going to fuck fans. Sinjin yeah. and Ronald and are going to fuck fans. I, I think the other thing about TLC is they, even though, even though they wink at this, they still, they still would tell you we're a documentary style. They company. don't want the people <laughs> to be stars. We're, they don't want them to be stars. No, no. It's very real. It's very, oh, also you guys, did you watch Below Deck Sailing yet? Uh, I, yes, yeah. I loved it. Okay, yeah, Gary, you know, Gary, like, yes, so, like, like, love like, Gary. so hot. I got to watch Gary in action and I totally get it now. You get it this now. Guy, this guy was, this guy was drinking with his, like just that, the hotel bar with just fans. And he was the most charming. Oh, I bet. Funny. Like he was like, I like, he was so full of life. That I, I get like, it. Oh, I totally, I get it kind of on the show, but I was just like, how's every girl hooking up with him. But then I watched him live in action. 
nicest dude, but then there's that little part of him that you can tell he's like, it, there's, oh yeah, there's a sexuality like yeah, the, ooh, off that's of what him, I love. You know? Did you get to meet Asia? Jake loves picture. Asia. I, I'm, I'm Asia very good. I'm, from below, I'm, from below, Jake I'm very under. good friends. I'm very good. I'll send you the picture with Asia. I'm very good friends with Asia. Oh my god, I'm friends with her best friend, and so we finally because she's been on the show a couple times, and we got to meet, and she was like, "We're partying," and she goes, "Get off your phone," and she just jumps on me, and there's like a picture <laughs> of me trying to fall off. She's exactly like she is on the show. Next she was time, so great. Next time you talk to her, tell her I would love to do my impression of her when she says, "Major has exposed her male nipples to the child guest, but I'm still trying to give a positive feedback." <laughs> Dude, let me know if you want an intro. She would pro- like do your show in a heartbeat. Like I, mean, I, I know you guys would do that, love that. I We're, that intro I'm a really huge easy. fan. Jake wouldn't yeah. talk to her in a real voice the entire time. Oh, okay. I would say, Aisha, what do you think? All right. No, but she's we, like such a good sense of humor. Okay, we gotta go. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. We gotta. We don't. I got. I got we'll talk we, all you have day. So many more podcasts, and I got like it's so funny, isn't it? Like weird that like this is probably. We, I got to do three more What two, we do today. Two, <laughs> yeah, like, we've got to, yeah. This is in this room all day. Okay. Yeah. I love you guys. And tell everybody you, where Ryan. they can, real quick, Ryan, tell everybody where they can find you. Oh, uh, the podcast is called So Bad It's Good with Ryan Bailey. Uh, so many episodes a week. Pick and choose with what you like. There's timestamps so you can skip around. And also there is the Instagram account, So Bad It's Good with Ryan Bailey. A lot of just silly memes. And we do a Patreon where I re- we've recapped the entire Selling the OC mess. We're yes. about to do Mar- Mauricio Emancipation is the agency over there and I do a lot of voice note personal things about behind the scenes with the pod shooting the uh, we call it shooting the shit with Meditza Lopez who makes all my graphics and Sandra my other work like it's just a fun thing over on the Patreon so if I know it's hard times but it's a couple bucks a month if you want to support even further you're that such a it. savant Thank you're you. a savant you really are a, sav- a reality like savant man? okay I need like I need to hear more about this when you whisper in my ear tonight quite late by the, way, by, by the way will you leave the door unlocked because i did get my keys stolen earlier today yeah i spot. will if someone's there just uh jiggle it a little bit uh All right. handle oh uh, there oh. will be jiggling yeah they're yes. awesome. okay there on that are. note y'all we've got to go we'll see <laughs> you next her. time bye y'all bye.